മാധ്യമങ്ങളോട് സംസാരിക്കുന്നു അതിലേക്ക് we must respect the only thing i can say is that it is our national duty any citizen including people who are in position to have respect for the national institutions and judiciary is our national institution therefore that is whatever decision order judgment they give it is to be respected and accepted it is not to be commented upon massive protest is going on against you sir by the cpim sorry massive protest is going on against you is by cpim in state we are a, um, i'm sure you know that we are a democracy and anybody and everybody has a right to gather and give vent to their views i welcome it they are exercising their democratic right i welcome it sir what will be your next stand on vc issue because you have i am not neither there was any stand which i had taken earlier nor it is going to be in future my duty is to uphold the law of the land my duty is to uphold the constitution and no amount of threats no amount of ill talk can deter me or pressure tactics can deter me from upholding the law that's all i can say sir my last question is what like did you i have not i have not seen anything till the time i left tirvendram i had not seen the office had not received any piece of legislation and i do not know how many times i should repeat it before you that i am not the i am i will not it is not possible for me to talk about anything without first applying my mind to it history kerala high court directly you to consult the special appointment of vc well i have already said uh, it is our duty to to respect accept and carry out whatever order or judgment comes from the judiciary so yesterday kerala high court appointed you and on this that is your that is what you are saying it is not a personal fight i am not fighting care judiciary what they uphold is law of the land they have upheld the law of the land i have no personal fight against anybody but but as chancellor of the universities i had become totally frustrated last 3 years despite giving assurance to me in black and white the interference continued and now i think uh, the higher judiciary things have become clear and now it will not be possible for anybody to illegally interfere in the functioning of the universities it is very clear now they have i have told you again and again all over the country the job to run the universities is with the vice, is is with the chancellor the job to run the government is with the elected government this is the how the constitution and the conventions have evolved they i have repeatedly said give me one instance where i have tried to interfere in the business of the government i shall resign that very moment i can give you 1001 examples where they have kept interfering in the functioning of the university on a daily basis so but uh, some people were trying to create confusion fortunately now everything has been made by and large made clear by the judgments of the honorable supreme court and high court. honorable high court sir yesterday, yesterday kerala speaker said that he is optimistic sir yesterday kerala speaker said that he is very much optimistic about uh, the clash between you and the government everything will be sorted out that is his word there as far as i am concerned you keep within your limits i will keep within my limits there is no there is no confrontation there is no confrontation but universities cannot be allowed to become 
departments of the of the ruling party the, we have rule of law in this country not the rule of those who are elected to the government individuals rule rule of law that runs contrary to the concept of rule of law you were asking something sir what will be the future of the rest of the vcs you are more concerned about the vcs i am not concerned about individuals i am concerned that the bright students of kerala after 12 they migrate to other states why because they say that if they get, get into a course of four years duration kerala it is not possible in any university to complete the course in less than four and uh, less than five and half years so here only i asked some of these students i said i am not trying to persuade you tell me what is the reason why you leave because bharat ratan dr c n r rao in his letter has said the state of universities is so dismal we have one of the most robust school system in kerala since last more than 5 6 decade but the research these are not my words these are the words of professor c n r rao who is a bharat ratan who heads one of the biggest scientific establishment of government of india he says research in kerala universities has come to a stand still why because bright students of kerala they do not want to stay in kerala so much party politics so much interference in the universities they go safely to some other places sir do you think that the protest in front of rajpur <coughs> is a, a pressure tactic i am not going to deal with these things but one thing i can tell you i think there is enough evidence for you to come to conclusion that i i am not the type of person who can be pressurized sir uh, cpm leaders are coming out and uh, saying on media that there a bill will come and uh, they are uh, they, they are proposing a bill and they are saying that by law they will amend the okay send the bill to me why announce to the public public they don't have to sign it i have to sign it okay. so send it to me sir. i will examine the earlier bills which they are complaining about yes. that i have not signed yes. i have written letter to honorable chief minister right. saying i have certain queries to make please come and explain to me they do not explain the two months old bills they do not come to the rajbhavan do you hope they will come to the if because they themselves know that what they are doing is not in accordance with law yeah. therefore they don't want to come to rajbhavan sir sir you said that you, you will not allow in the shinda i have not said i have said this is an accepted convention this is an accepted principle not only in kerala all over india not only all over india all over the world if you have to <coughs> i to go to any democracy if a minister wants to have consultation with the expert of a subject some professor he does not call him to his office he he drives to the house of the or or the office of the academic people show so much here we have vice chancellors because they have been why are you not raising this question that kerala had till last year it had only 13 universities and all appointments are illegal why don't you raise this i am asking you why don't you raise this issue is there any other universe any other state we are 100% appointments have been done in violation of the law of the land why because that is how they uh, that is how they are functioning they think it is their universities have become fiefdom and property of the party cadre and their relatives sir uh, some left leaders some left leaders are saying that uh, the post of governor should give be the, the name uh, give the name CPI no no give the name just yeah, now just there. now what i have heard yeah. just now what i have heard yeah, is that the top most leader of the party is saying there is nothing personal against arif mohammad khan okay, sir. Then, <laughs> so why you are trying to put words in their mouth then, huh. cpi general secretary d raja i don't want to comment no, i am just saying that 
uh, they are part of MDF. They say that uh, governorship is a continuation of colonial mindset. They don't do, want the governorship. You don't want to have their own personal independent opinions? I respect their opinion. It is for the country to decide whether that opinion is to be entertained or not entertained. But as far as having an opinion is concerned, I shall not question anybody for having an opinion, even though I may not like it. So earlier you have said that you will uh, move against the complaints and allegations against CM. You have come to... No, I have not. I have never said. I have never said. I have said whatever com complaint comes to me, I shall move according to the law. Sir, in that gold smuggling case you mentioned last time. <laughs> Uh, what I have mentioned, I have said, please don't try to confuse issues. No, no, no. I, what I have said is, why is it that all these things ultimately, those who are openly involved in these activities, they are found to be sitting in CM office? This is the question I have, what I have raised. After all, any minister, even in the central government or state minister, his personal secretary, private person, private secretary, is considered minister's alter ego. And here, that person is arranging job for the scam accused. He is helping her in, in all possible ways. Likewise now, this underqualified person was being appointed in Kannur University. And who is the man who is directing the show? The man who is sitting in CM office. Suppose he were not there. Could he have managed or pressurized the vice chancellor to appoint his relative against a position where she lacked the qualifications? That is the question which I have. Now, Kerala government send a uh, ordinance and they will follow. So are you ready to vacate the uh, chancellorship? I am ready to vacate. I have not seen even the... Uh, will, uh, I, I will say, have you read the judgment of the Supreme Court? No. no? The whole thing is about whose representative will be there on the selection committee. So, and they have said in, in the Calcutta case, they have said, a state government has no role in the appointment of the vice chancellors. Please, I mean, I will be very happy to interact with you for the whole day, provided you do your homework. You do not come prepared with your homework. The very thing goes against the on judgment of the Honorable Supreme Court. And then you are asking me whether I will sign it? I, I, do you expect me to sign something which is violative, of clear, clearly violative of the judgment of the Honorable Supreme Court? Violative of this UGC regulations, don't expect from me. And come prepared, please. Thank you very much. <coughs> Kota di Vithi, Mani Kinu, Adil Kudal Pradigrikanilla, and another Parino from the Niraj Pavan March, LDF in day, March in May, the Hemparino, the Janathi Patti Paramaya Vagasham, and the Prayogi can elaver come at Higara Munda, Adagunda, Ada Matraman in the Kanda in the Parino, for much Vishangal Kudia the Hemperdigrikinunda, the Nay Chancellor Stan at the Martin, the Ordinance, Sidure, Kanditilla in the Parino, Opam Sarkar in the Kairingal Tiramani Kata, the Mukimandriana, Sarkar in the Provartal, and Idabetilla, but Sarbagala Shalago to Provartanatil, Sarkar, Tudachia, Idabet game, another than the Emanuel Narta game, Chainu. Purna Thigaram, Chancellor Katanayana, Avidayana, Nima Nadapakan, the Vindula Tantaporatam, Iporatam, Dekti Paramalla, Enukudi, Governor in the Parinunda.